And here we go, Simino on the inside of row number one, Warman outside of two. We try to go three and four wide out of one and two, and everybody makes it stick. Warman in second, three wide for second. It's about to be four wide out of four. Simino will lead the first lap. Warman second. Ron Whaling in the third spot. Warman gets tapped. He's going to drop three spots back to fifth. Here comes the 7-11. Brady Binkin inside of Whaling looking for that second spot. Can't take it. Whaling, Binkin, and then the 85, Robert Leonard had a given Nebraska running in the fourth spot, but he's got a ton of company for that top five position. Here's Bankin inside Whaling and inside Simino trying to go third to first. Can't make it stick. Simino continues to lead. Three wide for the fifth spot and it's going to be Hager coming out of there with it and moving up to fourth. As the 85, Robert Leonard gets dropped a spot. Well, Hager was fast two weeks ago, and he's got another one working. Started inside road number five, he's up to fourth. Here's Banking for the lead. Inside of Simino, he'll make his stick this time, but he bobbles, leaving four, and he'll just hold on to the lead. Simino right on his bumper. Wailing, waiting for somebody to bobble, but here's Garrett Hager, fourth spot and ready to look into the top three. B Bankin continues to lead. Simino, Wailing. Now here's Hager on the outside of Wailing, looking for that top three position. Warman in fifth. 98 Z, Zach Olmstead heads into the pits. The 82, Mark Norman and out of Salina leads a pack of five cars for the sixth spot. Here's Hager inside Wailing, looking for the third spot. Warman stays on the outside, looking to regain a top four position as Bankin continues to pull away from the field. Hager makes the pass, gets to third. Hager third, Whaling fourth, Warman fifth, Norman in sixth, and then it's a four-car battle for the seventh spot that's led by the 29, Jeremy Wagner. Brady Binkin starting to lengthen out that lead halfway this time for your leader, the 7-11, Brady Binkin. Simino, Hager, Whaling, Warman, your top five. Norman is separating himself from that big pack for six. And Robert Leonard settling into seventh. Twenty-one, Brian Stitch heads into the pits. Inside of Simino and Bankin a little slow out of two. He has lost a ton of speed. He may have a flat tire. Here comes Hager to the inside. Goes from third to first. And a new leader at the flat. Bankin looks like maybe he has a flat tire, has lost his momentum. Yellow. And here we go, back to the green flag. Chase Simino at the front of the pack. Garrett Hager tests the outside. Four wide in turn number one and two. Kent Tamman in the 23 slow. Couple cars down to the infield. And a car comes to a stop out of turn number two. As Simino leads at the flag stand. High, and they'll drop high, the yellow. Go high, turn two. 23, Kent Tamman heads to the pits. 
Jeremy Wagner, Jacob Olmstead setting just outside the top five. Tyler Smith has made his way to the eighth spot, and here we go on the restart. Simino, a solid restart again as Warman makes his way into the top five to fourth. Hager second, Ron Whaling third. Hager to the outside, makes the pass at the flag stand. Hager, Semino, Whaling, and now Warman fourth. And then about five or six cars battling for the fifth spot. Normanen has it right now in the 82. He'll lose it, though, as the 71, Colton Piper out of Stockton. Started back in the inside row of eight, has made his way to a battle for the top five. Hager Semino, and now Warman looks inside of Ron Whaling. Dives down out of two, down the back stretch to take away the third spot. Normanen and Piper side by side. They'll both go inside and now straight into the wall over turn number right, four. Right goes on Ron Whaling. Speedway during this regular season looking to take him to the green flag again. Tyrell Smith nearly off the track in one and two. He's going to drop from fifth all the way to the back of the pack. And a great run for your top seven cars battling for the lead all behind Hager though. What you get for bragging about it? See what happened? It's like a perfect game. You don't talk he about spins it. Spins out over the corner. Warman is in second. Kyle Piper in the 54P started in 12th, has made his way to third. Mark Norman in fourth. Leonard's worked his way up to fifth. He started at the back after one of those restarts. And now you just cursed somebody. He goes around. Just stay yellow. yellow. Turn one. Country. We're yellow. Turn one. We lost a car over the top of turn number one and two. Uh, Robert Leonard has held nearly every position possible. It'll be Garrett Hager to bring him around for the green flag once again. Three laps to completion. Tyrell Smith comes out of the pits to rejoin the back of the pack. Hager, Warman, Norman in your top three. The 88J, Jacob Olmstead, a great run down the back stretch to get to fourth. Two to go. Hager out front. Normanen dives down low. Can't make his stick for second. Warman may be the only one with something. And now the 57, Eric Cross, lost the back left wheel. And he's continuing to go. I mean, the whole thing is gone. Here's Warman taking a peek to the inside. Hager, a little high, leaves the crease open for Warman. It's going to be Garrett Hager. Your top five go like this, the 85. 
Stop for at a given Nebraska fifth. 88 DJ Goldstein at a over to Nebraska fourth third. At a Salina, of the 82, Mark Norman and your runner up at a Pratt, the 17 W Dwayne Warman. How about a round of applause? The 68 Garrett Hager out of Hayes with the win tonight. Races and two wins here at RPM Speedway in the points for Garrett Hager. Garrett, congratulations. Welcome back to Winter Circle. Never get old, does it? No. It's always a good thing when you can put her up here. Um, car was working awesome tonight, and we had her hooked up and got her done. One of those nights had to be patient to get your way to the front this evening. Yeah, there was quite a few ruts out there that would mess you if you got, them, got in them wrong. And so we got our line figured out and made it work. All right, who do you want to thank for uh, the win tonight? Uh, all my sponsors, Bart Chassis, Fisher Race Engines, Engine Quest. Um, my wife, my family, everybody that puts this together. Garrett, congratulations on the win once again. Garrett Hager with the win. Two races, two wins during the points portion of the season here for Garrett at RPM Speedway. So the wild child will get his picture took down in victory lane as the school buses get staged, ready to roll out. We have seven tonight. 